I'm Drew with SCA Performance. It's May in Alabama and it's hot outside, but not as hot as this Jeep I'm about to show you. Okay, so this is the SCA Jeep JKZ2. And we're gonna start like we always do with the suspension. Just like the SCA Jeep JKZ1, the JKZ2 is equipped with a short arm, long travel, three inch high performance Jeep suspension. And you can see all of the SCA color shaded accents there, the coilovers, the track bar, the front diff cover. All of the accents in the rear are color shaded exactly the same. One thing I wanna point out here just like on the JKZ1 suspension, the JKZ2 suspension is equipped with the sway bar disconnects. So when connected, you get more stability for highway or road travel. And then in off-road situations, you can disconnect those and it allows more flex for crawling and things of that nature. Let's move up here. One last component of the suspension I want to point out is the stainless steel Dirt Logic remote reservoir shocks also from Fabtech Motorsports. These are the top of the line shock that Fabtech offers. Next we've got the upgraded 37 inch BF Goodrich Mud Terrain KM2 tires with the 20 inch XD series SCA color shaded wheels. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and stop right here. I'm sure a lot of you are probably asking what the differences are between the SCA JKZ1 and the JKZ2. So let me go ahead and point those things out. And we'll actually start right here. The JKZ1 has the slightly more protruding aluminum tubular fender flares. The JKZ2 has steel maximum clearance fender flares. So you can see they don't stick out quite as far. The flares that we put on the JKZ2 are gonna give you the maximum amount of flex in off-road situations. The same applies to the bumper. If you'll go look at the JKZ1 bumper, you'll see that it sticks out just a little bit farther. It's still considered a short, but on the JKZ2, we've built in the shortest bumper of all. So you're gonna get, once again, the maximum amount of clearance in off-road situations. The design of the front bumper on the JKZ2 is also different. Instead of an E-Series 20-inch light bar, or 10-inch light bar, sorry, you've got the single row Rigid Industries SR Series light bar. The two dually lights. The bumper is still equipped with the Warn VR8000 winch. The D-rings with D-ring isolators. Another difference between the JKZ1 and the JKZ2 is the grill on the JKZ1? You've got the angry or fierce style grill that has the brow here in the front, whereas on the JKZ2, you've got this brand new SCA exclusive Jeep front grill, and you can see the color shaded mesh behind the cutout here, and then the SCA cutout in the front piece. You've got the Oracle HID headlight replacements with the color changing LED ring. Moving on up, just like on the JKZ1, you've got the steel heat reducing performance hood so that when you're really working your engine hard to get over those rocks or whatever other off-road situations you're in, you can allow heat to escape from the engine bay. This Jeep is also equipped with a snorkel upgrade. Now, for those of you who don't know, the function of the snorkel is actually to 
change the location from which the engine receives its airflow. So instead of leaving it lower to the ground and risking water intake into the engine in situations where you may be off-roading and need to go through water, you're actually taking in all of your air from up here and this intake system and then it's fed down through a series of channels that you can see right there into the engine. Moving on around here, we've got the custom billet SCA JKZ2 badging. You can see the thickness there of this badging. Now this is, this is machined out of a solid piece of aluminum. So this isn't just some stick on detail or decal. We're actually riveting this in to the body of the JKZ2. This is, this is a really, really nice piece that shows you the amount of detail that we're putting into these Jeeps. Moving on down here, you've got the rock crawling style rocker guards. And these are powder coated, very durable. As with every component on this Jeep JKZ2, they carry a three year, 36,000 mile warranty. Moving to the rear of the vehicle, you can see the fastback soft top. Now this is also an upgrade, but I really like the rugged look that it adds to this Jeep. You've got the JKZ series rear bumper. And as you can see, this is from VPR 4x4. This has also got the color shaded D-rings with D-ring isolators and the high lift jack as well as the integrated tire carrier. The purpose of the integrated tire carrier is to, because we're adding an oversized wheel and tire combination onto the back, the uh, tire carrier that's provided from the factory is not sufficient enough to support the weight. So this integrated tire carrier is more than capable of doing the job. And you can see here that to complement the fastback top, we've mounted that tire at a 45 degree angle. It is possible to mount that wheel and tire combination at a perpendicular angle as well. One last detail on the rear of this vehicle is the Rigid Industries Dually Cube backup light. Now that's connected to the reverse light system, so it offers you more lighting in low light off-road situations. And Let's take a quick look inside the interior of this Jeep JKZ2. Now this is the Sahara leather interior from the factory, but we've also added the custom stitch JKZ2 headrests. And you can see the SCA color shaded accents all throughout the vehicle. One other really neat detail is the series of auxiliary switches we've added into the A-pillar here that control all of the LED lighting on the front and rear of the vehicle. For more information regarding available upgrades to this vehicle, just visit scaperformance.com forward slash Jeep dash JKZ2. And as always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to post them in the comments below. I'm Drew, and this has been the SCA Jeep JKZ2.